Hey guys, it's the Key Factor here, and I have the Nakajima WT-160 typewriter. This is a all-electric typewriter, and I think it's really cool. Let's get it booted. So in today's video, I'm going to be um, showing basically a tutorial on how to use this typewriter. Let's get started. Step one is obviously to load your paper. So let's get that done. So the first method is you press this little lever here, you press it back, and then the paper kind of just slides in there. But this is the method I prefer. I like pulling this black bar up first, aligning that paper to the zero line, and then either turn the knob or press the index button to feed the paper in. After that's done, you fold the paper back and you let the black bar rest over it. All right, so let's get to typing. So when your typewriter first boots up, it's in the normal mode. So you could type stuff just right as you go. See? But the other mode, if you press the mode button, you see it switches to LP. Now what that does is you could type things like, hi. And then you could do the whole line and you press enter. Or wait, let me give a better example. That's basically what it does. And it's pretty cool. Now the next mode, it's kind of just like that mode, but it fills the lines completely and automatically does a new line. Now the last mode is store, and that's what I use for the intro. I stored a big file, and it's basically um, a macro for computers, but for typewriters. Now in normal mode, which is I think normal print, so you make a mistake, like HJ instead of HI, what you do is you just press the delete button, and then it just removes it. Now how does that work? So you look under the hood. So you have your ink, your um, your carriage, ink cartridge, oops, your type wheel, and your little stroke hammer. Now this whole thing it tilts up, and that little white strip that is your correction tape, and it d goes to the letter, and it just stamps it like three times to delete something. Watch, ready? Very cool. But maybe your ink cartridge is old, or you don't have one. Um, well, I'm going to teach you how to install one. So to take your ink cartridge out, there's this little silver tab right there. You're going to want to push that out and pull this up. You're going to put it back in, kind of just align it right in the center there, and it'll kind of click into the place, and you tilt it down. And you shouldn't have to use any excess force. This should go in very easily, and it should be secured in place. Now for the type wheel. You're going to want to do this with your ink cartridge out of the way. So this little black lever here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pull that back, and you hear that click. Now your type type wheel is easily able to slide out. But be very careful with these because, as you can see, um, it's very thin and very delicate. So you can put this back in any way you want, at any angle. And you push this back. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press Control w Not Control, Code. Um, code W. And as you can see, now it's in place and calibrated. But if you don't do this, this is what you get. So I tap to low and press enter. Um, oh, I forgot to put the ink in. So I tap hello and... Um, yeah, that did not work so well. Now it's time to learn some of the functions. My typewriter has spell check built into it. So if I type something and I spell it wrong, it makes a little beeping sound. So what you do is you press this button, margin realign. And then six for spell spell check suggest, and that is not right. So you press index, you press reverse in, um reverse index as well, and you can cycle through. And that's what I want. So I just press enter, and now I fill out. Now to set your margins, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to press this button to let you go b beyond the normal margins right now. And then you would um use the space bar. Uh, no, you use backspace button and margin left to get your left margin. Then after that, you press enter, and you do margin rewind again, and you would use the space key, and then press code, hold down code, and press margin left, and it makes it margin right. Now, there's more things about um, spell check, but I'm not going to go into full detail, because it's going to take a little while. But you may be asking, how do you get that little line there, or the, sm or the, um, to the power of two? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You press code, margin rewind, and now you're on keyboard two. So if you press shift... And you press this, you get all the special symbols.
all the special symbols. Oh, by the way, it has a custom dictionary, so what you do is so you want to add a word, and it's marking it wrong with your name. You type in your name, and you hold down margin realign, and then add for spell add, which adds your name to the dictionary, or whatever word you're adding. Or you can press spell erase, which erases that word that you have in the dictionary. Say you accidentally added a word that you spelled incorrectly, um, you can remove that. Now, if you want to make underline, you hold down code, and then four. That makes it solid underline, and this is underline individually over each letter. There's a little gap between. I'll show you the differences. Ignore that code five. This is code four, solid underline, and this is code five. This one leaves the spaces unhighlighted. Now, say you want to do bold. Bold is code six. It works because this. It hits each letter three times, so it's a bit darker. And that's all for today's video. Like for part two. Please subscribe to my channel, and bye. Thank you.